Yo, go, 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 go. What's going on, G.Dot family? It's your boy, G.Dot TZ, back with another VZ. Let's go ahead and get straight into it, yeah. Phil, let's see what we got going on. We got Baby Drill, the Zone 6 rapper who beat a body. I don't know nothing about that, so I'm trying to figure out if he really beat a body, if he ain't beat a body. So let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell. And I just want to see all my people making, man. Stop doing that hood shit. Y'all ain't got to do no hood shit. If you want to get some real flea drip, though, drop it D-R-A-D-I-A-R-I dot U-S dot U-S. I ain't for that latest drip. Let's go. Rappers in Atlanta right now, but most fans have no idea about the wild and brutal story behind his come up in the rap game. No, and today we're breaking down how playing. he beat a body even after allegedly self snitching in his songs. Baby Drill came up on the west side of Atlanta and has been in the streets since he was a kid. But back in the day, he actually tried to go through school and get a legit job. He finished high school and went to a trade school and learned how to weld. But he didn't last long in the program and ended up going back to the streets. Damn. Baby Drill was- At fit. least he tried though. I give him credit. At least that nigga tried. He tried to get some money the right way and then shit was probably just slow for him. People needed money or something happened. Street some. You know what I'm saying? You never really know the full story, but at least he graduated and tried to go to, you know what I'm saying, a school to better himself. You dig what I'm saying? Got a trade, did the smart route. Shit just happened though. 15 years old when he caught his first serious case. The cops picked him up on an armed robbery charge and he got sent to boot camp. But when he came home, it was clear the boot camp was going to keep him out of the trenches. When he went on the Just Facts podcast, Baby Drill said, Most dudes who come up in that environment don't even realize they have other options besides getting active in the streets. A lot of them don't have anyone showing them another way out. And even when an OG tries to step in, they're not going to listen to him. After he dropped out of the welding school, Baby Drill knew he needed to switch up how he was moving. He All hopped right. in the booth and started dropping tracks around 2021. And it didn't take long for Baby Drill to start linking up with some of the biggest artists in the city. Young Nudie's one of the hottest rappers in Atlanta, and he reps a crew from the Paradise East Apartments called PDE. They're cool with 21 Savage and the Foel gang he reps. And Baby Drill started working with both of them and started blowing up from the jump. He had always been rapping for fun, but when he finally took it seriously, it paid off big time. Right. Baby Drill was running up millions of streams. But I ain't gonna lie. They making it seem like he just started rapping and linked up with them. They linked up on some rap type time. No. When have you had, what have you ever heard of 21 Savage signing an artist that wasn't from his hood? Or a nudie signing an artist, period, or fucking with somebody that wasn't from his hood? That's what I'm saying, man. They, they from the same hood. Just, you feel what I'm saying? Shit happened like that. He was probably one of the young niggas over there putting in work, doing shit. He started rapping, and that's how he on in. Elevated from there. Should be crazy, but that's just how the hood works, especially over east of my hell. East side of Atlanta is crazy. One of the places I'm not trying to go back to is the east side of Atlanta twin. Not the place to be. Immediately, but then he almost lost it all before his career really started. In April 2022, an off-duty cop heard gunshots around 12th Street and Crescent Avenue in Midtown Atlanta and ran over to check it out. When he got to the scene, the off-duty cop found a dude named Grady Scott who had been shot to death inside a Range Rover. Damn. More cops pulled up to the scene and took the driver in for questioning. And the police think that whoever killed Grady Scott was in a whip with him when it happened. Midtown is a popular spot in Atlanta with a lot of bars and nightclubs. And rumors are flying that it was a robbery gone wrong or something like that because gangs aren't usually crashing out in the area. Hell no. Then a couple months later, news broke that Baby Drill had been booked for a murder. At first, everyone thought he was facing the charge for killing a dude named Hardbody Daffy. Hardbody Daffy was affiliated with a crew called Goodfellas Mob which used to be clicked up with another set called PFK. PDE and Foel have beef with PFK and Goodfellas. And just a couple weeks after Daffy from Goodfellas died, a snippet from Baby Drill leaked where he rapped, they thought this was sweet, shot his ass Daffy. But according to reports, it was one of Baby Drill's homies who took Daffy out and Baby Drill wasn't actually involved with the hit. It's not clear why Baby Drill allegedly took out Grady Scott, but fans thought Baby Drill was going down for good after he caught the charge. Reports said that another person in the whip where Grady Scott died was cooperating with the cops. Wow. So it looked like it was the end of Baby Drill at that point. Well, but then though. Baby Drill shocked everyone when he beat the body and the case got thrown out. And you know what the crazy part is? A lot of times, with, I ain't gonna say a lot of times, but sometimes when niggas be snitching, bro, they might be the only one that end up with charges. Or may, they might be the only one that end up doing serious time, or they might be the only one that end up in some BS. Because you admitted to what you did, they still gotta prove that folks did that. So at the end of the day, you can be the scapegoat for everything. So it's like, snitching is a tricky business. Even with this, they threw the case out. You still a snitch, though. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even get nothing from snitching because they didn't get nothing, so you just gonna be broke as hell in the hood again. It's a lose-lose situation. Just get out the streets. On the track Kanan, he raps, they just keep asking how the I get my name. 
How the fuck I get these chains? How the fuck I become gang? I stayed down when I switched. I shot my leg when it ain't. I caught a body, caught some more. Baby Drill just up the rate. That's not the only body people think Baby Drill was involved with, though. And the other murder is tied to one of the biggest Atlanta rappers ever, Lil Baby. Before he hopped in Atlanta the booth, shit. Lil Baby was heavy in the Atlanta trenches, and one of his best friends was a dude named Lil Marlo. Marlo came up in the Bowen Homes housing projects on the west side, which was one of the deadliest hoods in the whole city. The projects were so violent that the city ended up destroying the whole thing back in 09. Marlo jumped right in the streets and started hustling. Lil Baby and him were both making a lot of money moving weight, and back then, they weren't even thinking about hopping in the booth. Both of them knew a lot of rappers though, and one day, a dude named Big Bang tricked Marlo into recording the song. Big Bang is one of the most powerful dudes in the Atlanta rap Trick. game and has ties to basically everyone. Trick. He can jumpstart any rapper's career if he wants to, and a lot of people actually call him the godfather of Atlanta. One day, Big Bang picked Marlo up and brought him to the studio. Right. Marlo thought Big Bang was going to be rapping, but then Bang told Marlo to pick a beat, and Marlo ended up recording his first track. That's how it be, though. I, I, like, it does, that shit does happen to other places. Like, I've seen it happen in Chicago, don't get me wrong. Like, I know it happened in, like, other cities. But in Atlanta, like, niggas in the South period, niggas is like, they show a lot of love, especially when in the same hood. Y'all know each other, y'all grew together. Like, niggas will show a lot of love. All that backdoor shit is more some up north. That ain't really happening down south. And like, Doug did this with Baby. Gonna help Baby rap. Like, he helped write him some lyrics when he first started rapping and shit. Then he did Marlo. Had, well, Bank did this with Marlo. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it happens a lot. I've seen some people do this too with my own eyes. So, like, down south love is different. That's one thing I will say. They take care of their people. After Marlo finished the track, he hit up Lil Baby immediately and convinced him to hop in the booth too. Lil yep. Baby blew up from the jump and became a star. But Marlo still had one foot in the trenches. He was still working on music and signed a deal with Quality Control Records though. Marlo linked up with huge artists like Offset, Young Thug, and Gucci Mane, but staying in the streets ended up getting them killed in 2020. In July 2020, Marlo was found dead in his whip on Interstate 285. His car had been hit up over a hundred times and it was clear from the jump it wasn't just a random shooting. There are a lot of rumors about who took him out, but a lot of people were putting it on Baby Drill after he dropped the track Dunsane with Young Nudie and rapped. I was sliding on my birthday. I just had turned 16. Them scared of me. I was popping Glocks at 15. Real op killer. I dropped the biggest op at 17. And on an unreleased track, he allegedly took another shot at Marlo and rapped. Ever since the whip got hit up, everything BP. Can't go out like shh. Hop out then I shh. Hop out with them shh. Not no rap. Don't try me like buddy. I shoot that Glock. I ain't gonna lie, that ain't really like, that ain't really incriminating, you feel me? He didn't really say too much. That, like, ever since the whip got hit up, his whip could I got hit up. Folks, you could be talking about hoax. You could be talking about like another nigga, his mama, his sister, his brother. You don't know who you're talking about, man. Stop trying to put bodies on niggas, man. There's no evidence that Baby Drill was actually involved, though. And a journalist from Atlanta named George Chidi says it might have been over something Marlo's brother did. One of Marlo's older brothers caught a murder charge over some street beef and was facing life in prison. When the trial started, hey. though, the two main witnesses just disappeared and allegedly ran away to California so they wouldn't get wrapped up in the situation. The two witnesses were the ones who could have put Marlo's brother away. And after they dipped out, the prosecution just dropped the whole case. George Chidi thinks that the homies of the dude Marlo's brother allegedly killed clapped back and took Marlo out in revenge. There's another theory about Marlo's death, though. Marlo repped the same set as Hard Body Daffy, PFK. They started out in the same apartment complex as Goodfellas Mob, and back in the day, everything was cool between them. Goodfellas Mob allegedly started out as a prison gang and was created by a dude named Frankie Osama. Frankie was allegedly putting in a lot of work in the streets of Atlanta back in the 2000s. Right. But when he got locked up, he started the Goodfellas and linked up with a bunch of other dudes who were serving serious time. Eventually, the gang expanded outside of prison and into the streets. Mm. And rumors say they're one of the most active sets in the city. The apartment complex they share with PFK got destroyed and the crews moved into different territories, but they were still cool until a dude from Goodfellas named Capo Nuke allegedly started hooking up with Lil Marlo's baby mama. None of this is confirmed and it's all just street rumors. But people say that Marlo put a bag on Capo Nuke's head after he heard Capo was getting with his baby mama. So the Goodfellas mob responded by taking out Lil Marlo. After that, start. Goodfellas started clicking up with PFK's ops, Foel. Sources claim that PFK used to be cool with Foel too back in the day, but then they fell out. 21 Savage dressed Foel is one of the biggest artists in Atlanta, right. and Baby Drill has been getting a lot of shine from him too. They linked up in the studio for the track Slight Dub, and 21 started bringing him out at concerts too. In 2024, 21 dropped the track Nina with Doja Cat and shouted out Baby Drill with the line, 
I be sitting inside the house because I don't feel n good baby, but my baby like to drill. N a lot of people think 21 was talking about Birdman, aka Baby, in the first part of the line. They've never linked up in the studio though, and that's why some people think he was actually talking about Lil Baby. Lil Baby and 21 Savage collab on the track, Can't Leave Without It, back in 2018. But that was before the Lil Marlo situation. Right. It's not clear if 21 and Lil Baby are but still- I also, I don't think, I don't know. I do think they might have had something to do with it. But honestly, like, that's why Lil Baby fell back from PFK. Because if you knew, like, I was in high school when Lil Baby was first coming out and shit. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga changed the rap game. Like, he started turning up and shit. Feel me? Of course, the nigga wanted to listen to that. So I'm looking at the music videos and shit. He used to be with Marlo and PFK a lot. And I think he fell back from PFK. And then that's how he kind of fell back from the faux PF shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Just, he's falling back from all the gang shits little by little. He, he made the smart move to get out the hood. That's why he made the CBFW. Can't be fucked with. Because it's not taxing no gang shit. It's just some rap shit. That's what Dirk shit did. But OTF was just too big of a label, I guess. But faux PF or baby shit. You could have still, like, you feel what I'm saying? Just crossed over. You know what I'm saying? Still rocking working. with each other. But Baby Drill has been dissing Marlo ever since he died. And that was one of Lil Baby's best friends. It doesn't seem like Baby Drill actually had anything to do with the hit on Marlo, but Lil Baby probably isn't going to be cool with anyone who's dissing his homie like that. Lil Baby and Baby Drill haven't sandy shots at each other though, and hopefully none of them get dragged into more drama and ends up getting killed. 21 Savage became a star and even has an album with Trey, but a lot of fans don't know how heavy his street ties really are. Right. Even though he was born in the UK, 21 came up in the trenches and got kicked out of school for bringing a gun one day. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, 21 Savage is definitely a savage for real, but we ain't even finna talk about him. This is about how Baby Drew beat a body, but we don't even know if it's confirmed he got a body. You dig what I'm saying? It's a lot of speculating, a lot of speculations in this video, so we ain't gonna say he got no body. We gonna say he, he in that street life, he did some work, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't gotta stop putting bodies on people, man. Just cause you don't like a nigga, he rap about some shit, don't mean he got a body, man. Stop doing that, that's in the fit.